Hello YouTube! Today we're continuing with our 20 minutes till dawn playthrough. I did, uh, I did stream the game after the last video. So I have made a little progress. For example, I've beaten Darkness 3. And in Darkness 4 now, all characters gain, uh, all enemies, have basically more health. No real change in anything else. Well, and the amount of weak enemies. And the last thing I did on stream was a run with Abby and the Granite Launcher. And let's say I was more of a danger to myself and to others. So I thought, why not try Abby with another weapon? And I thought the crossbow. Because I don't know if her ability makes that charge shots, because if it would, that would be overpowered. But, well, we'll see. Um, for my runes, I believe this should be a physical build. Even if the physical builds of this game aren't that awesome. Gun glyph, close combat, power. Yeah, more damage for things that are close, some healing, a uh, shield at the, at the beginning, and as you can see, more small enemies, small enemies, more LHP, same for elites, and now for bosses. With that said, let's just begin the run. Oh, and I've decided until I finish the last darkness level of this game, I'm probably going to do every second day a video of this game. Ah, the crossbow is so nice. Easily able to kill enemies. More projectiles, the damage decrease I can work with. Yeah, I can't charge at all with my right click ability. That's a shame. But I'll live with it for now. Um hmm. I believe I'll take haste because while charging, you are walking. And since most of the time I take damage when I walk, because I just can't stop firing my weapon. Or charging. In this case. So maybe that will help. Another level up. Run and gun. Perfect. Now I just need the breeze. That is nice, being able to take out rows of enemies. Sadly, not that useful later on. Um, blazing speed. Mm. Truthfully, I don't really want any of those. So I'm just gonna increase my magnetism. Most of the time it's annoying when you can't pick up the experience. Because I have to play two minutes and my experience is already lying around everywhere. Um, power shot is good. But, as you can see, the right click ability of her is, at the moment, not useful. Maybe if I get um, more ammunition, it could be useful. But, wait and see for now. And I'm running into an enemy. Why am I running into an enemy? I'll take the glare. 
additional source of damage, always appreciated. Maximum charge does 156 damage. I'm happy with that. Now do I want to upgrade my glare? More pickup range. Oh no, I'm gonna upgrade my glare. Because early on their damage damage is very good. Very good. If I wouldn't run into enemies. Luckily one of my perks allows me to regain health through level up. So early mistakes can be easily regained. A higher reload rate would be great. What was the ability that allows me to uh, shoot bullets around me when I reach uh, reload? That would be good for my build. And maybe more knockback. I haven't gotten any of her perks yet, so that would be a surprise. Banfire. Banfire should be great for her. And... Not really helpful. Now I could only increase the damage output of the vampire. There's one ability. No, uh, what's it called synergy that increases your bullet damage by ten. That would, should count for the Panfire bullets, which would triple their damage. Which would be very useful. Or I could start picking elemental uh, things. Now that I think about it, Bandfire plus Sparky, uh, plus Spark character, and Crossbow could be a very good combination. Assassin would be great, too. Huh. Let's wait and see what kind of stuff I can get. And then I'll decide if this build is going to be great or bad. Right now it's not bad. But right now, I'm still early in the run. would both be nice, but damage. Definitely damage. Now I just need to do two. If I didn't kill it at that moment, I would have taken some damage. Bounce. Bounce could be great. If my shard shots would be affected by bounce. Great, I'm an idiot. And... Rapid fire. 
that will allow me to at least get one more ammunition. Ah. The damage decrease wasn't that purple. Or at least it could have been worse for me. But I'm getting careless. And how much health do do does the eye barrel have? Oh, hide a bit. A 300 damage doesn't take it out. And I'm pretty dead. Unless I get very lucky, I'm dead. Right. Oh, I've got help. Thank you. I took the glare upgrade, didn't I? I haven't really looked at what I got. Yeah, my glare seems to drop pretty often. Sight magic. Won't be too helpful unless I get assassinate. But better than nothing. How are those guys playing around like that? Cross my bounds. And this weapon has a high pushback, a uh, knockback. Oh, the rubber bullets were more help hurtful than helpful. I'm pretty sure that guy just got pushed in. Okay, I'm gonna die and it's my own fault. <laughs> well, game. Not too useful of the weapon you're giving me. I believe I'm just gonna use her ability all the time you now. Because that seems to be working at least somewhat. I'd be much happier if you could push everything away from me. Okay, I'm gonna do that again, because this is just not good enough. No rubber bullets this time. I will have to keep that in mind. Oh, I've forgotten how slow I am if I don't have run and gun. Well, give me more reload speed. And just shoot the enemies with my basic attack. A little charge. Need the experience. Um, I'll take the power shot, thank you. I really need more ammunition. Then maybe I wouldn't have died in the last round at that point. Um I take haste because why shouldn't I? I could make use of run and gun again. And I'd be very happy if I had gotten that last perk of that tree. But no. They just wanted to give me burning feet. And 
Mage, Flare, Pyro Mage, Big Shot, Frost Mage, Magnetism. Big Shot and Glare would both be a great choice, but I go for more damage. Nice. I kill them with my basic attack now. Little charge and I can kill a bunch of enemies at once. Now if I just could get the experience. Reaper rounds. Definitely. Considering I can just now shoot things without having to charge at all. I'm just gonna use the right click ability because it doesn't make too much of a difference if I would hit something. Level up. Why can't you give me... Okay, you give me a tree that has an ammunition upgrade. And I just right click, right click, right click. Yeah, if I use the right click, the charge doesn't start up at all. Which is a good thing, in my opinion. Double shot. A little bit damage decrease, but... Two bullets, better than one bullet. Especially considering they still can kill quite easily. Better talk. Because the one I got last time was not good. Not good at all. Hmm, I'll take fresh clip. Because I'm always reloading. So that bonus damage from Reloading, very useful. And the first boss is down. Two more projectiles, minus 31% fire rate, plus 40 spread. Um, not complaining about that. That's a great upgrade. Now do I want to splinter or split fire? Definitely more bullets. Okay, my back shot doesn't seem to charge. Ah, oh, doesn't matter. As long as it does damage, I'll be happy. Huh. Well, rapid fire has the possibility of giving me more projectiles and uh, more ammunition. Which is something I desperately need right now. Well, and the experience, but can't do anything about that. Um, well, I can do something. Run around and pick it up. And a double level up. Thankful. More ammunition. Definitely put in full. Which means I shoot so much more at once. If I get the two more ammunition from the reload pack, I believe it was. A little cleanup. Get 
60% damage increase from reloading is very nice. And if I want to, I can take out the big guns. Just by, well, charging and shooting. And now I shoot even more bullets all the time. Now give me a good book. Um, sure. I don't need fire rate since I have my ability. Take care of the head. Yeah, this build is going quite good. Finally, a physical build that can do damage. And how far away have I experienced lying around? Unless I absolutely have to. So all I can do is, well, keep right clicking. Or maybe charge sometimes. A little charge is enough to kill everything. how much fun I have with it. More crossbow balls, please. A little bit of the right click ability to clean up. Ah. Clean up is not that much, much faster than me actively shooting. How much does a fully charged shot? 275, if I saw that right. Yeah. That's more than enough damage. More projectiles. I believe I've lost some damage, or did I lose uh, speed? And that I mean recharge speed or something similar. Wait, I can see that quite easily if I charge fully. Yeah, it was damage that I lost. But it doesn't matter. I'm still doing more than amazing. Especially if I get some damage upgrade. Uh, upgrade my body shield since I don't have any other option right now. I'd love to see a few certain perks. For example, the uh, movement speed perk being. Take armed and ready first. Maybe later on. Because having no nope, mini clip is not good for this build. Since it means I only shoot in one area, that could be very bad for me. F rounds I'll take. Sure, I lose out on some health, but 
all my bullets do at least 10 damage. Which also includes the fan fire and the scatter shots. And my glyphs, I believe. So, it's a bunch more damage. And it's something I have never complained about. Um, hmm. I hope to get the help upgrade. But sure, increased pickup range is alright too. I'd love to get another heart. But I'll do without. And I'll definitely not take many tips. At least not at the point of time. Rubber bullets is bad. Well, then I'm gonna do some elemental damage if the enemy gets close enough. Which is not the plan. Not it could happen. Still, this is what I believe get in the first round, but uh, nope. First one was a fader. And the second one is good. Still. I'd love it for the bosses to arrive a little bit quicker. Or for there to be more. Okay. Running into that enemy. I could have lost my health, but I didn't. Which is completely fine with me. Um, in the vein. Up to 30% more damage. Definitely. Since I... I'm not really getting hit. Okay. A fully charged shot still takes out everything quite easily. Movement speed raises all the time. Sure, I'm gonna do a maximum charge. But just runs because dangerous to stop my ability. Full charge. More damage, definitely. Should try to kill the boss instead of running around so much. I'm far away from all enemies, so I can do one charge. And my movement speed just priced again, I believe. get the upgrade that gives me what's it called um the one that allows me to refill reload quicker when I kill enemies because my reload is already pretty quick but it could be quicker Charge swords and then clean up. As you can see, clean up is very important. And if that guy doesn't die quick, 
I will have two bosses. Finally. And... Um, sure. Make my ability even more ridiculous. At this point of time, it's even useful. I wonder... Will there be a point of time where... My fanfire will be active multiple times? I'd love to have more experience. Fully charged. Yeah, the knockback makes sure nothing hits me, but... Kill cleared. But penetration is probably the better option right now. Assassin would make my build so much stronger. I have a bunch of little bullets flying around all the time. That aren't that high in the damage department. Ah, with Assassin they could easily take out enemies. And how much experience do I have lying around everywhere? I'm just gonna go around him all the time. Sometimes use my ability to keep everything away. Don't you hate it when you've got something in your eye? The second boss is already there, but I can't see it at the moment. There it is. They got some of the experience, level up hopefully, make my way to the assassin. And now everything should melt so much quicker. Because as you can see, those little guys get killed so easy. And my leveling speed is also much better. More bullet speed and damage. As if I haven't been overpowered already. Nope. No book. No book this time. Oh. I need to kill that guy. I haven't seen the third perk of this character yet. So that would be very interesting. Oh, 
fully charged. Did that just do 144 damage? I believe my damage had to be much higher. Ah, eh, doesn't matter. For a basic shot. Mm. Recharge shot should have more damage. Huh. Not my problem. I just need to kill that guy. <laughs> I can just pull him. Um, practically. Maybe I won't kill this boss, but I did. I don't believe it would have mattered. Increased movement speed and reload rate by 35% for 2 seconds after reloading. Uh, yeah. I am the win. Saying anything else would be a lie. Now, where's all the experience? Here's some of it. Mini clip, not useful. Run and gun. Well, I could take the magic lens. Ah, that would end up in bouncing. So not thank you for that. I'll just move, pick up experience. And maybe get one more upgrade that makes my build even more ridiculous. And with that I mean the kill clip. Kill clip would be a great last thing to get. Yeah. Oops, I took damage. How could I? Even the loss of 40% attack and movement speed is doing nothing to weaken me. And with that, I survived the Darkness 4. Got a bunch of currency. I don't know if they're called souls or just money. They look like souls. Darkness 5, Elite deal double damage. Okay. Boring. Ah. With my opinion on that, I believe we can say, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, like or subscribe, and I'll see you in the next time. Bye!